Ubisoft has just revealed to investors three new titles that will be arriving on Google's cloud gaming platform Stadia this summer, including a trip back to the Viking Age, the ultimate game of rock, paper, scissors, and a game where roller skating meets basketball. So let's talk about it. Are you listening? What's up everyone? The Nerf Report Roadshow is in full swing this time coming to you live from McMullen, Alabama. And of course, today's episode is made possible by one of the fine establishments here in McMullen, uh, Jerome's Tire and Loop, where not only will we change your tires, but we can also do an oil change too. Thank you to Jerome for sponsoring today's show. Now, speaking of today's show, we are obviously talking about Google Stadia, who had a huge turnout during yesterday's Google I.O. event in which we saw, I'm sorry, what was that? Ubisoft wasn't mentioned during today's keynote. I mean, they had to talk about Stadia in some form, right? No, they never mentioned them once. This is why you should stick to reading the teleprompter, you idiot. Well, apparently, today's story actually comes from a release schedule that Ubisoft revealed to investors, detailing the physical and digital releases planned for Ubisoft's first quarter. And while the list does include games that we already know about, like Season 2 of Riders Republic titled Showdown, Season 9 of Tom Clancy's The Division 2, Year 7 Season 2 of Rainbow Six Siege, and of course, Valhalla's DLC expansion for Uno. You guys ever play Uno on Stadia? I play with some hardcore rules. Stacking enabled, swaps on seven, and you have to draw until you get a match. Like, legit, you can go from having two cards to 37. It's absolutely insane. I'm sorry, what? Stick to the teleprompter. Now, despite the fact that many of these titles were for things that we really knew about, there were a few surprises. Like the fact that the upcoming hybrid sports game, which combines roller skating with basketball, Roller Champions, is coming to Google's cloud gaming platform, Stadia. And you know, I hate to be one of these people, but when people look at this game and they're like, oh, that's just the roller derby video game. But I feel like as a husband of someone who plays roller derby, I've got to say that this is not roller derby. Roller derby up teleprompter in roller champions players will compete in competitive fast-paced 3v3 matches in which your goal is to grab the ball successfully make a lap around the track and place the ball through one of the hoops you know what never mind now the next game that we need to talk about is Assassin's Creed Valhalla Discovery Tour Viking Age, which will transport players back to the Viking Age, where you can roam freely throughout England, Norway, Asgard, and Jotunheim. On top of that, the Discovery Tour will offer eight major quests focusing on educating the players in European history. Now, good news is, if you already own Assassin's Creed Valhalla, this will be free. However, if you do not own Valhalla, Discovery Tour can be purchased just as a standalone title. And the final game that Ubisoft revealed is coming to Stadia is of course For Honor. Now, if you've never seen this game before, For Honor pits Earth's greatest warriors against each other to see which is the greatest faction of all time. And the combat for this game is actually really unique as players must block and parry based on your opponent's attacking stance. If you select the correct stance, you will be able to successfully block their attacks. Rock, paper, scissors. Anyway, three cool games that will fit greatly on Stadia and will likely be available for Ubisoft Plus players as well. But I'm curious to hear what you all have to say. Do any of these games excite you? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hey, thanks again for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw and you want to see more content just like it, which who wouldn't, uh, hit the subscribe button right there. And while you're down there, hit the like button. Maybe even consider becoming a Nerf Report best friend, just like the people listed down below did. In fact, don't you want to see your name there? I know I do.